Okay guys, I confess I did it. I never do this. I am not an impulsive person and you guys know, y'all know me, I'm not an impulsive person. But I just had to have this item. I just had to get it. I normally, you know, think about it, then I plan and save, and then I purchase. Well, I skipped like the best part or the most important part to plan and save. And I just went ahead and bought it. So, all right, I'm just gonna, you know, since we friends, I'm just gonna show you what I got and just stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Simply Fabulux, where I like to talk about luxury goods and items, a little bit of lifestyle, and then I try to sprinkle in a bit of tips or advice that I've learned to share with you. So today, today I have an unboxing. Not that it's like a special unboxing, but it's an unboxing where I felt like I would feel comfortable with my Fab Fam to discuss because I was a bit impulsive when I made this purchase and I am not an impulsive person. So definitely don't do what I did. I always like to plan and save before I make a purchase, you know, because luxury goods and items can be very pricey. So that's just the plan that I use myself going forward. And what I always advise to someone who's, you know, wanting to make a luxury purchase. But again, I did not follow my own advice, but since I have the item and have kind of a little regrets to what I did, not that I did what was good, but like, yeah, I really am happy with what I bought. I do wanna show you what I got because this is kind of like the latest, new, hottest item when it comes to bags, that is. So I went ahead and bought it. I had been looking at this item. And if you watched my video on the top five mini handbags, you definitely would have saw this bag. So that's just a hint, you know, what I could be talking about. Yeah, let's dive right in. So first of all, let me just show you the box because I have it right here in front of me. Yes, it's from Louis Vuitton. So I'm going to open this box and show you what I got. I'm not going to ask you if you can guess what's in here because honestly, I actually don't like when people do that. I'm not gonna ask you what is in this box because I've done that in the past and then I go back and I'm like, why did I do that? Just open the box. I'm just gonna open the box and show you what I got, all right? So now this is from their fall winter or autumn winter collection from Louis Vuitton so you definitely have seen this on the runway um it was also in like the campaign that Louis Vuitton has that you can kind of see going on now with like Emma Stone am I saying that right Emma Stone yes yes I didn't want to get her confused with another actress that has a similar first name because that's not cool but yes <laughs> I know She's been seen with the bag. I mean, I guess she's one of the, you know, ambassadors for Louis Vuitton. So she got this bag. And I do know that, you know, some very lucky influencers got a special treat delivered from Louis Vuitton that had this bag. And well, you know, I'm not one of those influencers. I actually had to spend my money to buy this item, but hey, I ain't mad at y'all. I ain't mad at the game. So, all right. So I took the ribbon off and gonna open the bag. I have the receipt inside. Okay. It's a small bag. Like I said, it's a mini bag. So if you want to like get something that holds more than your phone and some lip gloss and keys and you know, all that stuff, this is not gonna be the bag for you. I can definitely tell you that right now. But if you don't mind a mini bag like me, then you'll probably really like this unboxing. All right. Da-da, da-da, da-da. Let me take it out of here, making sure I have nothing on my hand. And this is 
the camera box bag. Yes, okay, I did talk about this bag again in one of my previous videos, so I will put the link of that one below. I talked about how much I loved this bag. That was kind of the reason why I just could not wait any longer. So yes, I got this beautiful bag and it has this coated fabric. I'm not sure what it is, but I just know they call it coated fabric. It's with the monogram from Louis Vuitton, you know, and then it has the reversed colored monogram on top. I love that. It has the nice details around not only the top of the bag, but then it has the details on the bottom, like the nice little hardware. And then it has the hardware on the front and the back. It is in plastic, so you might see that. And then it has like little plastic or stickers on there as well, because I have not used the bag yet. So yeah, I have the little stickers, you know, on here still. Sometimes I'll keep it on there and then I'll just take it off when I'm ready to use her. And again, like I said, since it's a small bag, it's not gonna carry a lot. So if you are a person who carries a lot, like you carry a big agenda, your laptop, you have a couple phones, you want to put your brush, a full-size lotion, wipes. This is not the bag <laughs> for you. It does hold a good amount of stuff, you know, especially for a night out. So it will fit a lot of things. So if you want to put your phone in here, it will fit your phone. Um, it has a lot of space in there for that. And then you can also put a nice wallet in here. Maybe you got a Calvi or something, or even like one of the zipper wallets from Louis Vuitton that would fit in here. Oh, your lip gloss can fit in here, of course. Your keys or key fob. Just some nice basic stuff that you would need when you're going out. But other than that, not a lot. You know, maybe a small little travel size lotion, hand sanitizer. Oh, definitely if you have your toothpicks or floss. I like to carry this with me all the time in my bags. So that will fit in there. And yeah, so it has a good amount of space and I'll open it for you so you can see it. And it opens by pressing in the little hinge right here. That's how it opens. And then inside you will see <laughs> that I have the straps and then the little card that gives you the style number. So again, this is the camera box bag, style number M82465, in case anyone was wondering. And then it also lets you know the type of fabric or material that's used on the bag. It comes with two straps. So one is the leather strap that I like. The other strap is is the gold strap and I love this. I love this detail. So this one, you really could just use both, you know, have this one hanging on the bag. So you can have this, this strap like hanging from the side of the bag because it has D-rings on the side of the bag. So you can clasp it on here and it'll just kind of hang, you know, from the side of the bag. Or if you don't want that, you can leave it off and then just use your regular strap. So let me show you what it looks like. And the leather strap is actually adjustable. So if you wanna wear it crossbody, then you definitely can do that. It does have an adjustable strap. So you can make it as long as you would like with the belt buckle loop situation kind of going on there. And then it has the Again, the gold hardware on the lobster claws or clasp for the D-ring. Now, one piece of advice, if I don't give you any advice because I learned the hard way when it comes to, you know, this bag is that you never want to <laughs> clip on any of the clips, like any of the, uh, any of the straps, I should say. You never want to clip on any of the straps to this portion of the bag. It will definitely go on the bag, but it will not come off. I do not advise you to even try. Like, okay, I'm gonna put it on and take it off. 
because you will be like me. I had went to the store to look at this bag, admire it, you know, think about if I wanted it or not. And while I was playing around or, you know, doing my analysis of this bag, I did put on this on here because I wanted to see, you know, how else I could style it. Like maybe have one clipped up high and then the other one kind of clipped down low. And that is when I learned once you clip it on here, you cannot take it off. It just gets stuck. It doesn't have the space to open the like claw or hook thingy back up. So once it opens, it you know hooks on like that. But then once you get it in there, you can barely even open this again. So it's just stuck. Don't tell anybody, but <laughs> yeah, that one got stuck on there. I don't know if they ever figured it out how to take it off, but I know I did try with all my might to take it off and it didn't come off. So that's just a tip. Do not put anything here, not any of these straps at least, on here unless you want it to permanently be there. So that is my tip of advice when it comes to this bag. Oh, it does have like a small pocket on the inside of the bag. So not a very like deep one, but like just enough to put like a card in there. So yeah, it's not like a super deep pocket, but just something like to slip like a note, some gum, a card. Yeah. And then again, it's a nice length. So any phone would fit in here even if you had like a max phone like one of those real big phones that are tall and long that can go in here but i have seen some big phones <laughs> so maybe that might not fit in here but most phones will fit in this bag yeah i don't think i have really much to say about this bag other than i do love it i plan on wearing it to a few events that I have coming up and I will be using actually both straps. I like the style of having both straps on the bag, just like the gold one for hanging and then the black one to wear on your shoulder or even do a crossbody. Or if you just want to have both straps on regardless and then just carry it from uh, the top handle. I like that look too. It's just very chic. I love a bag that gives you versatility when it comes to holding it sometimes you do want to hold your bag it just goes with the fit and you don't want it to really you know take away from the outfit you want it to be an accessory to your outfit and then sometimes you know it's still cute but you just want to like have your hands free so you want to wear a crossbody or wear it on your shoulder so i like the versatility of options when it comes to this bag and then again i'm a small bag person or a mini bag person so this definitely suits my lifestyle and yeah that is all that i have for this beautiful louis vuitton camera box bag i know they do have this style of bag in the trunk style so it's kind of similar to this but it's going to be a definitely a harder like it's made out of like a trunk so it has like a hard case as for this one it has a very soft one so like you can press on it and everything so if you've made it to this point of the video then go ahead and hit that like button subscribe as well and become part of the fab family i would love for you to be part of the family we do great videos here and i upload a video every week until next time Thank you for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye.